In this video, we are working out the area of a circle. The formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. r stands for the radius, and squaring, remember, means to multiply it by itself. So we can think of this as area equals pi times the radius times the radius again. Let's do the first example. We want to find the area of this circle. Well, that's going to be pi times the radius squared. In this case, the radius is three centimeters. So we're just going to do pi times three squared. And three squared is nine. So an exact answer would be nine pi. We've got nine lots of pi. And the units we would be using would be centimeters squared. Remember, we are working out an area that is a two dimensional measure. So we are working in centimeters squared this time. Now, this is an exact answer, which is great, but perhaps it's not as helpful as a numerical answer, even though we're going to have to round it. To work out what that is, we can simply use our calculators. We just need to work out nine times pi on the calculator. If you do that, you get an answer of 28.274 dot dot dot, lots more decimal places, and we can round that to two decimal places and get 28.27 centimetres squared. Let's take a look at the second example. We now want to find the area of this circle. It has a diameter of eight centimetres. But remember, to find the area, we want to be squaring the radius. So let's work out the radius first. As you should know, the radius is half of the diameter. So half of eight gives us four. So we're going to use four in place of r. We're going to substitute four in to this formula. So the area is going to be pi times four squared. The radius is four. Four squared is 16. So pi times 16 gives us 16 pi. So that's our exact answer. And remember the units in this case are going to be centimeters squared. So that's the exact answer. If we wanted a numerical answer, we would have to type that into our calculator, either this or just 16 times pi. Doing that, we get 50.265 dot dot dot, lots more decimal places. And rounding that to two decimal places, we get an answer of 50.27 centimeters squared. So that's the area of this circle. You might be thinking, that's quite, it's quite weird that pi has come up again. It came up with circumference in lesson G17b, and now it's coming up with area. Now I'm not gonna to prove to you why this is the correct formula for the area, but I will quickly illustrate why it looks reasonable. What I've done is construct four squares on this circle. Each square has an area of r squared. That's the radius, that's also a radius. So the area of this square here is r squared. And then we've got another one, which is also r squared, and another one, and another one. So the area of all four squares put together, or the big square here, would be four r squared. And you can see that the circle almost covers up that whole area, but not quite, it's a bit less. So the area is going to be a bit less than four r squared. And it does turn out to be pi r squared. Remember pi is about 3.14, so it's a bit less than 4r squared, it's more like 3.14r squared.